boxed text. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Or do you have no idea what I'm talking about? <laughs> So, I have been playing D&D for like over 30 years, and I love the feelings of nostalgia and bring, you know, when things bring me back to like the early days of playing D&D, I really enjoy that. So for me, box text is this wonderful thing because I feel a connection with the past of the game. For DMs that run the game and have been running the game for a long time, we're all pretty, or even if you're just like me maybe, I didn't run any of the early games, but I flipped through a lot of the modules just to get a sense of what they were like, what they were about, and I was familiar with the format. And now, as, as I am a DM now, and I've been doing this for a couple years, I've become very familiar with this. And so box text is, for anyone that somehow doesn't know what it is in the game modules in in any adventure module for dungeons and dragons there is a section of text that is highlighted by a box that is meant to be read to the players it usually describes like you read it the first time you enter a room or a new situation arrives and so forth and for some dms i think it, it feels jarring and awkward because they're not professionals they're not you know s skilled orators necessarily and so reading text feels weird and i it's completely understandable and for others i think they would rather use their own words to do the same thing to like describe a room and to tell you what's going on and so so for a lot of people the box text is an is either seem seemingly awkward or unnecessary and i totally get that for others, I think it's a great tool that, you know, like me, someone new to DMing, some, some of us probably find it to be a really useful tool to help us get into the moment. Now, as a player, the reason I love it and the reason it like brings up such good memories for me is because I always feel and I have always felt as if on a certain level, the DM is the narrator of the story. They're helping us tell a story together by being the narrator, by, like, by moving the story along. They, they take the things that are important to be brought to the attention of everyone. They bring that into the forefront of the, of the scene, let's call it, of the moment, and they help us move things along. And that's essentially what box text is all about. It's, it, it lays the foundation of the scene. It lays the framework of the scene. It draws our attention to important elements that are worthy of our attention. So I love box text, whether it's being read to me or whether I'm reading it. And I know as a DM now how awkward it feels to be reading it sometimes if I haven't like practiced it a few times and even if I have practiced it a few times I still find myself like I'm doing my best to make it a habit to to as comfortably and naturally as possible read the box text and I know I don't do a great job of it one thing that may be a deterrent or maybe sort of a uh, s stigma or something like this is it I, I want to use the example of Matt Mercer because I think he's such an amazing DM he's so incredible at description and narration and he's a professional trained in the art of line reading so his skill level is super high. And I think a lot of us fall into a trap of comparing ourselves to people like Matt Mercer and others who have been doing it for ages and who are, again, super skilled at this. And so they think like, well, oh, he, you know, he doesn't even use box text, maybe. Maybe they think that. And I would suggest, no, he has specifically said he writes the some stuff he writes out word for word what he wants to read when the group has come to something important enough other times he just uses notes so in a way even though it's all his own world 
in a way, even Matt Mercer is using bo boxed text. So it's this it, it's this ongoing challenge, I think, for all DMs. Like, how do you make the boxed text flow and feel natural and not sound awkward and dorky and like like you're reading out of a book you know i mean this is it's a skill it takes time it takes practice some people are better than others but for me it doesn't even matter for me because i don't care how the person that's in the dm's chair reads that i don't i like it because i feel like they're narrating the story and so i'm always gonna i'm always 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 this is me i'm always gonna get caught up in that part of the storytelling and the rest of it is all just fun and flavor and and each you know each dm that i've played with has their own style has their own unique approach and i love all of them so when i think about the box text for me it always makes me feel good i always love it i i completely understand people that hate it and my only thought is like well if you don't like it throw it out don't use it at all or just like take it put it in your own words or whatever or jot some notes and like say like oh these are the important things because ultimately it's your game play your way i'm always i'm always 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 i'm always gonna get caught up in the story <laughs>